Text-based command line games are fun, but there's no denying that they are pretty outdated. So I thought, what if instead of text, I had voice input and audio output? Then I remembered Alexa, Amazon's virtual assistant AI thing that was kind of relevant like five years ago. So I googled, can you write code for Alexa? And it looked like the answer was yes. And that was all the research I needed, so I went ahead and bought an Amazon Echo Dot with the goal of making a game for it. So the game I wanted to make for Alexa was Card Jitsu. If you aren't familiar with Card Jitsu, it's a Club Penguin minigame that's just rock, paper, scissors, but with cards. Water beats fire, fire beats snow, and snow beats water. Each card has a value, and in the case of a tie, the card with the higher value wins. And you win the game by winning a round with a different color card of each element, or three different color cards of the same element. A lot of people have been wanting me to remake more Club Penguin minigames, so this is for you guys. Even if it isn't in the form you expected. <laughs> So here's my plan. Using Java, first I'm going to create a version of the game played in the terminal with text commands. Then once that's working, I'll modify it to use Alexa for voice input and audio output using the Alexa Skills Kit SDK for Java. But before I jumped right into coding the terminal game, I did want to get some sort of idea of how the Alexa SDK worked so I could design the game in a way that could be easily ported. Thanks to a helpful article by this person, I was able to set up everything pretty easily and created a simple test project. Alexa, ask test project for a funny joke to use in my YouTube video. Um, is it just me or is this text box looking kind of thick? B -r 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 -r. The way the API works isn't exactly how I expected it to. Instead of having full access to what a user says in your code, you have to set up intents in your developer console. Intents are things you might expect a user to say, like for example, show me my cards. Then in your code, you can listen for intents and do certain things based on the intent that was called. This feels kind of limiting for certain types of apps like chatbots, but for most cases it makes sense. Alexa's AI is probably way better than your own code at determining a command that a user is trying to say. This does bring up a problem if you want to use more complicated commands that have lots of options for input, like use the fire card with a value of 11, but I'll talk more about how that's handled later. For now, it was time to switch my focus to creating some nice game logic. The rules of card jitsu are pretty simple, so programming it wasn't that hard. I started off by making a card class that contains an element, a value, and a color. Then I made a deck class that contains a list of every possible card combination. It has a method for shuffling its cards and a method for dealing the first card. Then I made a hand class which contains a list of cards that represents the player's hand. It has two methods for using cards. The first will make it easy for me to let the player choose a card, and the second will make it easy to have the opponent AI select a random card. I also made a method for returning the entire hand as a string, which will make it easy to show the player what cards they have. I made a quick test to see if all this worked so far, since it was about to get a bit more complicated. I made a bank class to store the cards each player has collected and check if they've won. The way I did this is kind of weird, I have an array of three array lists that represent each element, and each list contains integers that represent the colors collected of that element. I made a function for adding a card to the bank, which adds it to the correct element list if it doesn't already contain its color. So the bank doesn't store duplicate colors, which is fine, since having more than one color of an element doesn't make any difference to the game. Then I made a method to see if the bank has a winning combination of cards. To see if it has three unique color cards of the same element, I can just check if any of the array lists are greater than or equal to three. And to see if the bank has a unique color card of each element, I do this big nested for loop to compare the colors of the cards of each list to one another, and look for a combination where the color of each element is different. This looks pretty scuffed to me, but I ran a quick test and it surprisingly works. So now I can move on to the actual game loop, which is actually the easiest part since all the systems I need are in place. I had the Alexa API in mind while working on it, so I separated all input from the game loop itself and only sent messages at the end of the function. After coming across and fixing a lot of weird bugs caused by dumb code, I finally played through a match from start to finish that actually worked. I also lost, which is pretty pathetic considering my opponent's AI is literally a random number generator. I finished up the game by adding some commands that let you access your hand, your bank, and your opponent's bank at any time. And now I was finally ready to turn this thing into an Alexa app. 
So I went to the Alexa developer console and made intents for all the different commands in my game. Amazon has some built-in ones, like for when the user says yes, no, or stop, but I also created custom ones for things like requesting your hand, requesting your bank, and requesting your opponent's bank. The way it works is that you write a few example phrases that a user might say to activate this command, and Alexa's AI uses these to figure out what command a user is trying to use. For more complex commands, like the one I mentioned earlier, you can add slots to your intent, which are just categories of words that Alexa will listen for and pass to your code. So in my choose card intent, I have a slot for numbers and a slot for elements that I'll be able to access through the intent in my code. Speaking of code, after that I copied the classes from my card jitsu game into my Alexa project and refactored the game loop to return a string. Then in my classes for handling intents, I just make Alexa return the game as its response with the command passed into the game based on the intent. Then I compiled it and did a quick test using the Alexa skill tester on the developer console. It actually worked pretty well, but I didn't just spend $45 on this weird speaker alarm clock thing to just not use it. So check out this crazy card jitsu battle between Polymars, the Fortnite YouTuber with over 70 million subscribers, and Alexa, the world's smartest AI created by the richest company in the world. Alexa, open card jitsu. Welcome to card jitsu voice. Would you like to start a match against an AI opponent? Alexa, tell Karjitsu yes. Choose a card from your hand to play first. Your hand is made up of a blue snow card of value 2, an orange water card of value 10, a green snow card of value 10, an orange snow card of value 4, and a red snow card of value 5. Alexa, tell Karjitsu to use the snow card of value 10. Your green snow card of value 10 beat your opponent's blue water card of value 5. Now pick a new card from your hand. You currently have a blue snow card of value 2, an orange water card of value 10, an orange Alexa, snow card of- Tell card jitsu to use water 10. Your orange water card of value 10 beat your opponent's orange water card of value 7. Now pick a new card from your hand. You currently have a blue snow card of value Alexa. 2, Tell Karjitsu to show me my bank. Your bank currently has orange water and green snow. Alexa, tell Karjitsu to show me my hand. You currently have a blue snow card of value 2, an orange snow card of value 4, a red snow card of value 5, a blue fire card of value 8, and a red snow card of value 9. Alexa, tell Karjitsu to use fire 8. Your blue fire card of value 8 lost against your opponent's green fire card of value 9. Now pick a new card from your hand. You currently have a blue snow card of value 2, an orange snow card of value 4, a red snow card of value 5, a red snow card of value 9, and a red fire card of value 3. Alexa, tell Karjitsu to use fire 3. Your red fire card of value 3 lost against your opponent's orange fire card of value 7. Now pick a new card from your hand. You currently have a blue snow Alexa, card of value- tell card jitsu to show me the opponent's bank. Your opponent's bank currently has green fire and orange fire. Alexa, tell card jitsu to show me my hand. You currently have a blue snow card of value 2, an orange snow card of value 4, a red snow card of value 5, a red snow card of value 9, and a red fire card of value 2 in your hand. Alexa, tell Karjitsu to use fire 2. Your red fire card of value 2 beat your opponent's red snow card of value 11. You won, with red fire, orange water, and green snow. Feel free to play again at any time. Easy dub, what can I say boys? Wow, that was pretty epic. I hope you liked this strange project. As with most of my stuff, the source code is on GitHub if you want to check it out. And thanks so much to everyone who has recently subscribed. Refreshing my sub count every 10 minutes is my new favorite thing to do. And that's everything, so thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.